travel lovers, welcome back to A Wonderlust for Life here on YouTube, the channel that shows you European gems through food and memorable experiences. And today we are in Tuscany and it is all about food in Tuscany in this video. We are gonna see how farm to table really works here and get a peek at what slow food movement really means. So let's dig in. Before we get started, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our videos. We have so many from Tuscany coming up. But for today, I wanna to talk about food because when I think of Italy, I think about food and that is no different here in Tuscany. So we have partnered up with KM Zero Tours with Ariana and Alessio and they are taking us on a food lover's dream day here in Tuscany. And you can do a tour very similar to this even if you're staying in Florence and just want a quick day trip. They'll pick you up in Florence. So I'm going to leave a link down below so that you can check out all of their tours. But for now, we are going to go get to meet some goats, try some cheese, some olive oil, and just have a foodie delight day. We are here at Fattoria La Caprine. It is a goat's farm here in the Val d'Elsa. And these goats are some of the happiest, healthiest goats I have ever seen. The three of them, Matteo, Michela, and Raffaele, have started this goat farm. And this is one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And you get to pet the goats. And I think we're gonna go try some goat's cheese and goat's milk, because that is what they make here. And this is all part of, you know, slow food and getting to know your food here in Tuscany. We're here at the goat farm and Sean made a friend. She's following us around. What do you think? You like the petting the goats? I, they're kept so in such good condition and they're all so friendly and they look like they're very happy and uh, it's great. Are you happy? I think so. I mean, look. I mean, check out this view <laughs> they get to live with. This is Alessio. He's loving on the goats. <laughs> oh, he's loving it. Look at that face. the goats we have seen how they make the cheese and now we're eating the cheese um, and they also make some wine so we're tasting that as well this is the first white wine we've had of the trip and it's really good so far um, but it's been really cool like to meet the family to meet the people behind all of this because we were actually just talking with the um, owners of KM Zero Tours about the importance of of acknowledging like the work and the lifestyle that people decide to do to be able to create this kind of thing because this isn't easy and it's so important for, I think for people to understand where their food comes from and the work and the lifestyle that goes into it and that's what you get when you come to Tuscany and you get to see that firsthand and I think that's what makes this kind of thing so unique because you're at the farm you meet the goats you see how it happens and then you get to eat um, the products of that labor and from those animals and I think that's really special and you get this view <laughs> which is just a bonus so we're gonna eat up and enjoy this beautiful sunny day that was supposed to storm so now to eat <laughs> to Igrepe de Sili, and this is a true family business. They are beekeepers here in Tuscany in the hills between Florence and Siena. They make olive oil, they make wine from their beautiful vineyard, but we are learning about and going to try some true Tuscan honey from these beautiful bees that are helping us out. And I wanna point out because 
I keep wondering about this all the time about beekeepers. He actually builds a whole section so that the bees have their own full section of honey to get them through the winter time. And they always have plenty for themselves. And the extras is what the humans eat. So we're gonna go try some of that sweet Tuscan honey now. This is Mikhail and these are his amazing bees. He also has an agriturismo, so if you're looking for a gorgeous place among the olive trees with an epic pool, this is gonna be the place for you. When you taste a product like this, when you taste a good wine, a good olive oil, I feel my work well done. That was sweet! I know I'm corny, that's okay. So um, the rain came a little bit, so we switched into inside and it's still absolutely beautiful. Great view. And we liked it so much, we got honey and bought Sean's favorite which is the fruity one and then my favorite which is rosemary and then a nice little selection to take home with us back to Amsterdam because we really 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 love supporting places like this and I really hope that um, you get the opportunity to as well because it's fun delicious and you're supporting a great cause. We made a pit stop in the cutest little town called Greve and there's this beautiful square behind me and we're learning all sorts of stuff. This is part of the tour when you take uh, one of the day trips, uh, specific ones, this is one of them, and this is one of the cute towns that you can see, and it is adorable. Our last stop is here in this olive tree grove here at Terre del Coto. I practiced that, so I think I got it right that time. This is an environmentally sustainable olive farm who makes extra virgin olive oil near the town of Greve and Chianti. And we are so grateful because we're going to have dinner with these people. So we're gonna get to try all of their olive oil and they make some wine too. So this will be our last stop of the day. And uh, it's been so awesome. And now we're gonna go eat. We were welcomed by Tobias his dad, and the rest of the family. Then we were presented with a Florentine steak that was then cooked on an outdoor grill. How amazing is that? We sipped the rosé while watching the sunset. And while we chatted around, we had the antipasti that was amazing with our new friend. As I mentioned, we are gonna have dinner with this lovely family at their wonderful house with amazing view of the sunset. I mean, just check this out. <laughs> so we are gonna have some Florentine steak with some of their wine and just enjoy the evening. So I am going to say goodbye to you here. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. I wanna give a big thank you to KM Zero Tours for inviting us out here. Let us know down below if this is a tour you would like to have. Until next time, guys, bye.